this video is about one of the most, probably the most highly anticipated shoes of the year so far i've heard some people talking about once they've seen the shoe in their hand that could be potentially already in their top shoes of 2023 Yes, people, how are we doing? Darren Ben here for the YouTube channel. It's Darren here, by the way, Darren Ben. As always, I'm going to try and get you guys to like and subscribe this very video and the channel and hit that notification button so when, when I drop these videos, you guys will hear about it first. This video is about one of the most, probably the most highly anticipated shoes of the year so far. I've heard some people talking about once they've seen the shoe in their hand, it could be potentially already in their top shoes of 2023. The shoe first came out in 1988. Of course, it's a Jordan. Jordan have been heavy and I spoke about it before. Jordan is set to have a massive year with it being 2023. So I've managed to pick up a couple of my favorite pieces uh, so far this year. We're only in March. But yeah, this one has got a lot of history behind it. A lot of people love this shoe. It's a lot of people's favorite silhouette. The three is a lot of people's favorite silhouette. It's not mine. I'm a Jordan one, as you guys know. But these shoes, people have gone absolutely nuts for it. As soon as the, the pictures kind of resurfed, uh, resurfaced, I saw a lot of pictures on a few, certainly a few sneaker websites and on, on social media where you scroll and you see that it was rumored at first to be coming out but then obviously now they've dropped and i managed to get a pair um they didn't disappoint some some shoes this year have disappointed i spoke about the tiffany's air force ones weren't really for me i, I got a pair but for me they were overhyped this shoe everything about this shoe is 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 perfection in my opinion and as i've said i'm sure it's going to be in a lot of people's top shoes when it comes to the end of 2023 let's show you the shoe And here it is. Jordan 3 box. The kind of rugged old 1988 type box. You know what I mean? Where it looks like it's been used quite a lot. Or you just found it in the back of, I don't know, your storage cupboard or something. As always, let's read the official title. Let's hope there's words in there that I can read. Right. Air Jordan 3 retro. Not a problem. Stomach white, fire red, black. I'm not going to try to read the, the, the language that's underneath. UK 10. But as you can see here, you've got the kind of elephant print on the bottom of the box. I like this kind of worn kind of effect, as you can see there, because it's obviously meant to be a little bit like the Lost and Found box, where you've almost put them somewhere and you forgot about them. So let's put them on the table here so you can have a good look at them. Take a mark. As you can see with the package in there, it's got the kind of, kind of elephant print. It reminds me a little bit of an Atmos uh, print as well, but the elephant print on there, the cement print, should I say. Boom. Boom. Here we go. The white cement Jordan 3s. Um, perfection really aren't they let's be honest you've got a cement print on the back the only thing i say about the cement print and they i'm sure they brought out a pair of these right i think around 2013 we know the original came out in 88 but i think they brought they re-released a, a, a pair i think it had the Jumpman logo on the back in 2013 around that and i feel like the cement print on the back was a little bit more was a bit better was a little bit more was it looks like it's a little bit under detailed if i'm honest on the back but still i'm not going to complain I love it when they put a Nike Air logo on the back. I prefer that to the Jumpman logo. Lovely on the uppers. It's got that soft premium lever on the uppers. The midsole's got like a cr kind of creamy effect, like it's it's worn. And again, I like this with this this particular shoe. Even the back around the Nike Air symbol, it's a kind of a creamy color where it's almost like it's been forgotten about and it's lost a little bit of its color. Same on the on the midsole there as well. Um, the cement print on the front looks a lot better than it does on the back. But again, you've obviously got the the, the fire red on the bottom. With the Nike symbol, the Nike logo on the bottom, a little bit of black on the on the back of the heel as well. Um, again, this shoe, it's got it, it, it is a fantastic shoe. I've actually got this is my second pair. I've got a pair on my feet. That's the uh, Nike logo there. As I said, one of the most highly anticipated shoes of 2023, and it hasn't disappointed. If I'm anything, I'm nitpicking a little bit at the little cement bits at the bottom. But if you can remember rightly, there was a black. Remember when the black threes came out as well? The black cement threes. Oof. I think Kanye wore them at an award and or at a concert and people went nuts for them. There are rumours, and I said I stress rumours, that they're going to bring that out. And that is a shoe that I have to get again because that shoe was incredible. 
But listen, we're not here to talk about that. We're not here to talk about rumors. We're here to talk about the shoe that's right in front of my face. Again, size 10, nice shoe. Jordan 3s. A lot of people love Jordan 3s. I can understand why. Easy, accessible. These, as you can see, are like, look how tight they are because I've not even taken them. I've taken them out of the box once, but I've got a, a, a pair used on my feet, which again, you just undo the laces, put your foot in and away you go. And that's, I'm quite lazy like that. I like to do that. But these are magnificent absolutely magnificent we saw i remember michael jordan wearing these back obviously in 88 and when i think about mj and the shoes that he's released and, and the culture and the history behind it when you watch the last dance on netflix which is by the way one of the, the greatest documentaries ever he speaks about he didn't even want to be with nike which is the mad part about it you think this might not have even been a thing if mj had got his way because i think he wanted to go to adidas or converse or one of them he didn't even want nike it it took convincing for him to to become a Nike athlete. Can you imagine that? No Michael Jordan. Michael Jordan's Adidas. That would have been absolutely bonkers. It, it would probably would have still been fire. But you've got to think Michael Jordan is single-handedly, well, not even single-handedly, but he has had a big effect on sneaker culture because now, whenever Jordans are releasing, it's nuts. It's absolutely nuts. I mean, again, I know Jordans in England, and we are based in the UK, is more of an American shoe. M maybe threes, ones, fours i think european people love the european the europeans love the the threes the ones and the fours but i think certainly jordan it, it's an american brand americans go a lot more nuts for it whereas in this country i associate european countries with air maxes but with these if you can get these i will say they're a must get the cost of 190 i think was the retail price i paid 190 pounds for these what they're going for now i expect them to get to probably around 300 i think if you can get a pair i think i think there are still some sitting in various places but these and again got a shout out my people at end because they sent me two pairs and it's i'm forever grateful um to them for always looking after me they sent me two pairs i didn't think i was gonna get two pairs i was being kind of greedy if i'm honest but they sent me two pairs um so thank you very much for that but yeah you guys gotta let me know what you think about this shoe because it is hyped up to the max because it is a classic shoe you talk about a shoe from 88 michael jordan 88 like it's it's fate but you guys have to tell me what you guys think of this shoe because I know a lot of people were talking about it. When I first put this a picture up of the ones I've got on my feet, I put them on my social on, in, on Instagram. I just took a picture holding the shoe. A lot of people were commenting saying, I need to get a pair of these. I need to get a pair of these. A lot of people were commenting on this shoe, just a picture of it saying, I need to get a pair. I need to get a pair. I know some people that, that aren't so much sneaker collectors, I'd say, but they want this shoe just because of the history and it's a good shoe to have in your collection. And I, I totally agree. I said, I totally agree. Would this be in my top 10 of 2023 so far as we're only in March? Yes, it would. I don't think it'd be at the very top, but it would be, it'd be top five. And what's that? I'd, I'd have it at one. And again, I'd have to have a real good think about what has released. I know Year of the Rabbits would be in mine. I get it again. And I've said it on this station, on this, um, on this, these videos, that Year of the Rabbits, hard to put them in a top 10 when they're so, you can't get them. They're not accessible. 5,000 pairs in this, in this country. In, in the world, sorry, is absolutely not. So to put a shoe that you can't get in your top 10 is, you've got to take that into consideration. But I love the Yearly Rabbit. I haven't worn them yet, but they will be there or thereabouts. These will be there. I love the little effect, as I said, the little worn effect where it looks like it's lost its color. But you guys, as I said, the most important people, you tell me what you think of this shoe. Is it a shoe you think you're going to cop? Is it overhyped? Are you going to try and get some? You know what I mean? Off my recommendations. And as, I, as I've always said to you guys, that's probably what means the most to me that, when even if it's one person i can convince one person that maybe has looked at the shoe and gone hmm, i'm not sure but then they've watched one of my videos and gone do you know what you've convinced me to go and buy a pair that's what i'm trying to do one turns into two turns into three and that's what we're trying to do we're trying to grow together so you guys let me know what you think um is it shoe gonna get is it one of the the hype shoes of the year let me know uh as always it's at darren bent on twitter at darren bent on instagram at darren bent on tiktok and at darren bent on youtube make sure you like make sure you subscribe and hit that notification button. Uh, most importantly, you guys enjoy your day. Let's keep growing. Let's keep growing together. Uh, and yeah, stay safe. Peace.